As people flood gyms to hit their New Year's fitness goals, the virus behind COVID is getting fitter too. We've been detecting XBB uh, probably for at least a month now. Early surveillance signals show an Omicron subvariant known as XBB 1.5 is starting to show up in Canada, though federal officials told CBC News it's too early to say if it's growing. But already it is rising in the U.S. Officials there warn it could soon make up more than 40% of cases. We are in that situation right now where initial phases of XBB 1.5 is cases are going straight up, uh, sequences are going straight up. It's just the latest member of Omicron's complicated family tree. That variant burst on the scene a year ago, spawning a series of highly contagious subvariants, eventually evolving all the way to XBB. Right now, any variant that we have, it doesn't have anything to compete with this XBB 1.5. That's why we are all worried about it. Its mutations could make it easier to catch and spread, but there's hope updated vaccines will ward off serious illness. Early findings published as a letter in the New England Journal of Medicine suggest people who got a bivalent booster targeting BA5 had better protection against all Omicron subvariants than those who got one or two of the older booster shots. So that suggests that the bivalent boosters really do uh, boost immunity to XBB 1.5. The concern is any spike in COVID cases now could still hit the vulnerable and under-vaccinated, putting people in hospital at a time when Canada's healthcare system is already under strain.